all right guys here we go again another truck tour this is uh, one of our trucks we're picking up here uh, this is a 2016 Kenworth T680 got the uh, 72 inch sleeper I believe and uh, there we go we'll take a walk around here now this one uh, has the Cummins uh, 15 liter Cummins with a 13 speed and 325 rears that I do know all my other truck tours I don't do a whole lot of research on it but this is one of ours this is the RST truck uh, mine is exactly like it same setup and uh, we'll take a walk around here I'll do my usual I'll do the usual tour sorry about the noise here decent looking truck man I'm assuming all the batteries are down in there. No DEF. Sleeper door. Oh, we have a lot of room under here. A lot more room than any other truck that I've seen, really. It goes back there pretty far. <laughs> Not sure what the block of wood is about, but oh well. I'll have to pull that out of there. Uh, power inverter, factory install power inverter. And uh, plenty of room. And we got uh, hatches on both sides. 100 gallon tanks. And this has the EPU, the electric power unit. It's all battery powered. Pretty nice looking truck man these are supposed to get really good fuel mileage now let's take a look on the inside oh we got beige beige or tan interior see we got uh, door pockets there uh, power power windows power door locks um, the seat is pretty cool on these. It's uh, it remembers where you're at, and it has the exit exit feature. So you hit that button when you get out. The seat drops all the way down. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, again, we've got 13 speed in here, and let's hop up in here. Check out the gauges. I'm not sure on the package that's included on this. Um, full gauge package all right and uh, this one does not have the uh, have the touch screen there I believe the fancier models have the touch screen but uh, we got all our floor panels uh, work lights ignition switch turn signals all that all that stuff uh, trailer brake all right uh, satellite radio some cup holders there up here on the dash a little glove box there let me back out here a lot of room a lot of room between the seats unlike that uh that w9 that i just did um up here on the top we got a cubby hole up here above your head and a little cubby hole here a big cubby hole up through here another cubby hole there and the CB connection right With all your wires and stuff in there and another cubby hole here so lots of storage up front and door pockets on both sides power controls on both sides um, pretty decent seats now this seat does swivel and I'll see if I can work on that for us but uh, let me try to slide these get some light in here for us all 
There we go. The door hatch. All right. And then sliding windows. Um, top bunk. This is a double bunk. Let me go ahead and pull this here. This should come down. We got storage there. Our top bunk, you know, running team or whatever. Uh, all LED lights. Everywhere in this truck is LED lights. Most of the newer trucks nowadays have uh, LED lights. Just push that and that latch is closed. Uh, we got speakers there, sleeper vents, uh, emergency exit uh, latch there. Um, up here, we've got the uh, microwave, uh, place to put a microwave. Got a plug right there. And then a shelf up top. This one's a little bit dirty. We'll get them all cleaned up. And then another shelf up here. Got some decent storage up there. All right. And then another uh, sleeper hatch. Another vent. Another speaker. Pretty decent, man. Pretty decent. Um, here we've got all our sleeper controls. All right, idle, uh, so idle management. Not sure what that all, that's all about. We'll have to read the owner's manual on that. And 12 volt, and then a nice decent sized cubby hole. Put your phone, pack of smokes, whatever you want to do. All right, this here, pretty decent size uh, clothes cabinet. Got a bar up there at the top. And got side storage here on the inside of this cabinet. That's that this hump sticking out right here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And then another shelf down there at the bottom. We got the uh, hey, there I am. <laughs> got a vanity mirror, uh, slots in here to do your paperwork, hold your paperwork or whatever you know. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I like this truck a lot. Let's sit down here. A step to get up on the top bunk. Um, the fridge is something different. It's a pullout. Um, it's got a drawer. And I believe this one is off. And we'll just pull it out. And it's kind of stuck there. We'll have to play with that. But anyway, this is the freezer. And it should pull out a little bit further. We'll have to play with that. But freezer up top. And then a decent sized drawer. All right, you can see there, you know, you could put some, put a pretty decent amount of food in there. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, down below, we've got a drawer. Uh, you can probably put canned goods, um, you know, food stuffs down there. And it's it's pretty deep drawer. All right, so that's that side. This side here, we already did the uh, storage up there, microwave area, uh, TV. Uh, put your DVD player, whatever you want, right there. Uh, these come. Not sure if it's a factory option, but this one certainly has it. Uh, the TV mount, and then an electrical outlet right there. How about you, Ray David? If you're watching this, there's the. Uh, there's the outlets in the sleeper. We got them everywhere, man. Up there, there, and I believe that's it, man. <laughs> oh, Ray. But uh, now this table, well, let's do these uh, drawers here. Underneath the table, you got two really deep drawers. Um, I'll probably end up putting clothes in there. It gets hung up on the uh, curtain. But two matching drawers. Pretty deep, enough to keep some clothes. And this table here, let's see if we can figure out how to spin this table around. Okay, there's your table. And it's pretty sturdy. Uh, obviously you don't want to be standing on it. <laughs> but uh, this would be cool, man. Sit here and uh, get your TV set up. You know, sit there and eat dinner. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and sit and watch TV, relax a little bit. And uh, let's see if we can figure out this front seat on how to swivel 
this front seat because I'm curious about it. So, hold on, this might be shaky. I'm not sure what this does. Anyway, I'll have to play with that. I'm not going to do it on the on it with the camera in my hand, but the front seat swivels around to where you can chill and hang out at the table versus uh, sitting on the bed. But we'll play with that, play with all them levers and, and buttons and all that stuff there and get that figured out. But pretty cool truck. Pretty cool truck. I like it. I'll give you the back view. There you go, guys. Pretty nice truck, man. I'm impressed. Very nice truck. And there you go, guys. 2016 Kenworth T680. All right. We'll talk to you later.